Hello everyone, today I will be talking about the new upcoming update that's coming in Genshin Impact which is 4.6 and then share my thoughts about Arlecchino, the upcoming 4.6 banners, about the new area in Fontaine that's gonna be released and the new event that is about some sort of music festival. I'm gonna be starting off by talking about Arlecchino. Now Arlecchino, this part right here is the part that brings the most excitement to me about this update. First of all, obviously Arlecchino is gonna be a new character, she is the fourth of the Fatui Harbingers and I'm really excited to see her in the game. Another thing I'm really excited for her is her new story quest that's coming out as well. From what I heard, this new story of her that will be coming out soon will also show her dark side which will also lead us to having a new boss fight which is Arlecchino, just like we were already have child as a boss fight then wanderer now we're really gonna have arlecchino so i'm really excited for that and i did not expect that but this is something that interests me very well now next up i want to be talking about uh, the new upcoming 4.6 banners now everyone is saving for their own five star characters and seeing which characters are gonna be on the banners this time some of us are happy while the others are not in case you don't know in the first phase we're gonna have Arlecchino and Lini and in the second phase we're gonna have Baiju and Wanderer now before the trailer arrived I was hearing those rumors that they are going to release the second story quest of Sino but another thing is that if they would do it they would also get his rerun which clearly they did not and personally I want Sino, so I'm really disappointed at that. I was hoping that at least one of the Sumeru characters would come, either Sino or I'll hate them because I want them, but unfortunately I have no luck. But of course, just because I didn't get the characters I wanted this banner, this doesn't mean that this is a bad update, but it does kind of disappoint me. So that is just me. Most of you are probably happy that Sino didn't have his rerun, but I would say that 4.6 banners are just fine. Now next up is the most disappointing part of the update which is new area of Fontaine. Now let me explain why. Now I have been hearing that Ainsley Quest will come out this update and that they will release a new map related to Canaria. But no, instead they released a new area of Fontaine and that was quite unexpected and it seems interesting but for me disappointing as well. I bet that a lot of you are disappointed as well. Cause like where is the Inslee quest? What are they doing? Though despite the release of the new map that no one asked for, I will still give a chance exploring it. Kinda seems interesting. We also have a new boss that's basically like a statue warrior and the new boss does look kinda Canrian. Since he does look like one of those warriors from one of the previous Densely quests. But at the same time I'm pretty sure that this area is nothing related to Canaria. And honestly I'm just disappointed. Because we're already at 4.6. And the last Densely quest that came out was on 3.5. Which was the Caribert quest. And now we're already going to 4.6. Yet still no Densely quest. The developers better bring out the next Densely quest at 4.7. That is if they will even do it in the first place of course. Now finally the last thing I want to talk about is this new music fest festival event and once again guess who came back that's right Arataki Ito it's not like that this guy showed himself like three times during all of the recent front end patches anyway like don't get me wrong I love this guy okay he's hilarious and everything like come on developers are being literally biased a bit okay there are some characters that are shown a lot like for example Lita but some that are they just never show up or haven't shown themselves in a very long time though it also looks like that we will also manage to get ourselves a free general guru which is nice a new free four star character that's at least something decent right overall I would say that lots of unexpected things were released during this update some of them are very exciting but some of them are also pretty disappointing to me and overall I would say this update is pretty mish to me not gonna lie I'm gonna be completely honest and it's not mainly because Sino or I'll hate them they don't have their rerun the fact that the Ainsley quest is still not out yet and they just had a bunch of random things that I don't think that anyone really asked for or anything we are not trying to spread any hate towards developers but like everyone is asking for a Ainsley quest all I'm really mostly excited about is about Arlecchino and actually about Sino story quest too it does seem kind of fun as well so i'm mostly excited about the story quests and the new characters in other than that this bet is just okay i'm not gonna say that it's as bad as 4.5 it's at least better than the previous one but it's still like it could be better you know either way let me know what you think about this update i also want to hear your thoughts do you think it's great or you think it's not that great is it just me who thinks that way that it's not the greatest update or do you guys also think the same way either way thanks for watching this video and i will see you all in my next video.